Hello and welcome to a new video about Prometics. This time we are going to talk about the symbols. Just summarize the symbols of the things, the power supply part, we just talked about. First thing we said is the compressor. Okay. Compressor looking like this. Circle. And here is the shaft where we drive the compressor. That's a compressor. This one has a constant displacement. Okay. If we could regulate this compressor, the, the displacement, not very usual, but however, we would simply draw this typical arrow through. Okay. Then we have a pressure tank. Pressure tank might look like this. Yeah. Can be one connection, two connection. That's the pressure tank. Yeah. Pressure tank. If everything is clear, if I have a compressor, if a pressure tank, or something like this, I just want to express, hey, this is connected to your power supply. This is connected to your supply of compressed air. Yeah? I can also use this symbol. This means I do not care about compressor. It's connecting, connecting to power supply. Yeah? So this is... This is a pressure source, pressure source, unspecified. Okay. So this is the this is the power part. Huh? Then we talked about the treatments. Huh? We said a filter, and the filter element looks like this. And this is a typical element. Yeah? And a filter symbolized by those dotted line. Yeah, this is a filter. Okay. Then we had drainage element to get rid of, of condensate. Mm -hmm. Symbol of the element. Here is the condensate. Yeah. Condensate trap. Or I write drainage. This is a manual one. There are also automatically ones. Symbol. Then we have the condensate. Yeah? And this is drained automatically. Yeah? This is the same, but automatic. Simply by this additional triangle here. Okay. Then boop, little line. It's an oiler. Huh? Here the oil is dripping in. Oiler. Huh? Then we of course we talked about this pressure regulating valve. One side, two side. Two side pressure is measured, counterpart spring, just a pressure regulating valve. So this is usually in the treatment area of the and sometimes or a lot of times all those parts or all those treatments they are grouped somehow together. Yeah? So usually we have something like this, yeah? looking like this. Condensate drainage combined with filter element. Yeah? So there's also combinement possible. Then we have pressure regulating valve. Yeah? And then we might have also a wheeler. And to be able to adjust the pressure, the pressure here, 
Yeah? There is usually also some sort of pressure gauge. This is often grouped together in one physical element, the treatment part. Okay. There is even a short sign for this. Yeah? Because it's that usual that we do have this This is exactly this, uh, this one, uh, with Euler, filter, drainage, without Euler, okay? <laughs> so these are uh, the symbols. Uh. I show you now a picture. Uh, of my compressed air system down in the in my workshop yeah? and you see the several parts of it yeah? you, you see the several parts of this uh, actually what this would mean yeah it would look when drawing this it would look like this yeah? so there is one compressor yeah? There's also another compressor because it's a there are two piston compressors inside. In the middle there's the motor, yeah, which is driving the two compressors. So here we have the suction line. Those two are then combined. Yeah. There is the pressure tank. Yeah. At the pressure tank, we also have a manual condensate relief. And then there is the filter element. And then there is the pressure regulating valve. Here we have one pressure gauge pressure regulating valve here we have one pressure gauge and here the ball valve would look like this Off. This would be the, the schematic of my system down there. And here we have now compressed air, which is clean, which is regulated. There's some certain amount of, of, of reservoir there. We have two compressors which are working in parallel, simply to increase, increase the, the airflow. Okay, symbols used for the power part. Next time we're going to talk about the other end of the, of the working part. Yeah? Next time we start with the working part and the most important working element there is of course the cylinder. Next time we're talking about cylinders. What possibles are there, how are they working and so on. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.